hi, this is a little test of using microphones with camcorders and we've got a few things to experiment with to see if we can get this to sound as good as it can. Right now I'm talking and being recorded by the onboard camera microphone, which is okay if you're within a couple of feet, but this is a big old room and there's a class in session, so chances are it's sounding a little bit noisy right now. Let's improve things. This is a USB microphone, it's plugged into a computer, it's the only way USB will record, but I can take this sound file and then match it up with the footage later to see if it sounds any better. So let's give that a try first. So this microphone is called the Blue Yeti and it's an awesome microphone. You'll notice that it makes a difference whether I'm facing the mic or not because its sweet spot is right in front of it like there and the distance you want to be away from that microphone is about a hand width, something like that. Uh, the, uh, the microphone kills a lot of the ambient room noise and focuses on whatever is proximate to it but we can still make things a little bit better still. So here's the next level of our experiment. The next thing I'm going to try doing is getting rid of some sound from the room by putting it into a little uh, sound dampening chamber. And we'll call this the portable sound booth. So see if this sounds any different to you. So with any luck at all, things sound a little bit different. Um, you might notice my voice is a little echoier, but we have a little less high frequency problems. You might also notice that you can hear a little hum down low, and that's because uh, there's other equipment on here that's been turned on, so one of the things you can do to improve the quality of sound is turn off anything that doesn't need to be on. That was just a speaker set that was turned on and left on, and I encountered that accidentally after running some test footage and, and discovering that it was left on. You don't even hear it in real life, but the microphone picks up everything. Now the next thing we can try doing to improve the sound is just to try uh, placing the microphone closer to the front or the back of the chamber and see how that sounds. And I honestly don't know what's going to sound better. I imagine that being closer to the front of the chamber, you're going to hear more room noise. And near the back, chances are you'll hear less room noise, but my voice might get echoier and echoier and there might be a theoretical sweet spot in, in somewhere in the middle. So I might try leaving it somewhere in the middle and seeing if that sounds best. Now I can also move myself closer and further away from it. Uh, right now my face is way outside the box, but if I got a lot closer, it's going to be louder. It might just change the tonality a little bit depending on how close I get to it. Or when it's right in the back, whether I'm far out of the box or whether I'm right close into the box might make a huge difference. And we'll try one right there at the front too. So does it make a difference how close I am uh, to the microphone? Again, I don't want to get much closer than that. And I'm not speaking in a loud voice at all. I'm just kind of talking in a natural, comfortable voice just to see what the background noise sounds like. So that's everything to play around with. Uh, we'll put this together, make a little video so that you can judge for yourself what the best setup is. And hopefully we can all benefit from this and get better quality audio in the recordings that we do.